when it comes to marketing? Do you feel a bit constipated? Well, stay tuned. I've got a book review that's just for you. All right, so today's book review is going to be on a fantastic book written by Chris Jones called From Poop to Gold. The Harmon Brothers Marketing Company is amazing and they produce some amazingly funny commercials. Squatty Potty. This is where your ice cream comes from. The creamy poop of a mystic unicorn. Totally clean, totally cool, and soft serve straight from a sphincter. Mmm, they're good at pooping. Poopery. You would not believe the mother load I just dropped. They've done Aura Brush. They've done Purple Mattress. Then there's the Soft Mattress. It starts out okay, but collapses over time, like some cheap sneakers or Anakin Skywalker. ClickFunnels. Introducing ClickFunnels.com, the low-cost, no-coding way to build a money-making funnel. It's like your own personal money printer, but without the felony. I ain't going back to jail. They've done BedJet. When the BedJet quietly streams air into the patented BedJet cloud sheet, you'll feel like you're literally sleeping in a cloud. <laughs> okay, maybe not literally. They've done a fiber fix. That was a dummy. I'd never get in that car. It's held together by duct tape. But what if you use tape as strong as steel? Manliness. They've done commercials for Lumi deodorant. So if you want your hoo-ha to smell ooh la la, or you don't want your pit to smell like dog breath, from your pits to your cheeks, you will smell magnifique when you Lumi. I've been following these guys for years. I even studied one of their cases at BYU when I was studying there. Um, in my business courses and I absolutely loved their approach to marketing and one of the things that they've figured out is that tapping into humor helps your product become more memorable and so when this book came out it was actually advertised on Facebook and I saw it and because I'm a fan of Harmon Brothers it probably showed up in my feed anyway it was well worth the money and well worth the time that I put in to read it and by the way it didn't take long it's not that long but um, it was it was really a fun book. So Chris Jones is actually not a member of the Harmon Brothers team. He actually, well he might be now, I don't know, but at the time that he was asked to write the book, he wasn't. And he was actually invited in and allowed to kind of help expose the Harmon Brothers um, and kind of give a transparent look into their company and their creative culture which by the way is something that I think a lot of people think that they understand nowadays but creative culture is actually very fluid and it is very indicative of the people that are in that company and um, and their attitudes and their perspectives on their work and on the people that they work with and I think the Harmon Brothers have kind of really tapped into that which which is amazing and actually quite refreshing. This book was really instructive in how to um, think outside the box, look at your company and kind of take a kind of an assessment of where you stand with your employees and with the way you run things. I really liked this book as a small business owner because it helped me understand even though I'm a single single person um, running a service-based business um, it helped me understand how I could reach my clients better how I can actually help solve their problems and do a better job appeal to their emotions Harmon Brothers is they do a wonderful job doing that one of the commercials that I actually started to pay attention to their company and not just the products that they were selling was the chat book. The ad for chat books was really funny um, it appealed to me as a mother here's just a quick snippet of it I have three kids and I work from home, so people always ask me how I stay so calm and organized. <laughs> I'm kidding. Do you think I have time for a bath? I'm fully clothed. I fell in the tub while I was timing my son holding his breath. <gasps> 26 seconds! Anyway, um, as you can see, you get a laugh out of it. You want to watch it clear to the end. You want to see how it finishes. And to me, that's quite amazing because most of the time our, our attention spans are quite small and we don't, um, we click and we scroll really fast. So I wanted to see what the Harmon brothers were actually doing that was different, that was helping us um, pay attention.
And so they have a wonderful formula that they outline in this book. Um, when they were working on the, the ads for Poopery, they said that you first got to outline the problem. Outline the problem that you are trying to solve. Make your product or your company the solution to that problem. And then you add in some calls to action and lay on the humor. And I thought that that was pretty um, basic, but also quite insightful. Um, a lot of times we think we've got to we've got to be humorous first but what they're saying is you've got to actually figure out what your what your product or your company actually does for your clients first and then layer in the humor it was quite interesting to me that at one point they addressed a situation where humor wasn't actually the solution for one particular company and so you may not sell something or do something that's funny but um, but appealing to emotions is still and whether it's humor or whether it's um, pulling at heartstrings, the 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 mission is the same and the point is the same. Make sure that you're solving a problem. One of the greatest quotes that I actually absolutely loved from this book was um, uh, had to do with editing. It says writers need to be able to check their egos at the door. Inevitably, some of their favorite work will end up on the cutting room floor. Sorry, guys. Um, that's just how editing works. For the good of the script, terrific stuff often has to be removed. For example, this book was originally 7,017 pages. Chris Jones did a great job laying on his own um, style of humor in this book. And I think that um, even if it doesn't all apply, which it didn't all apply to me and my company, but uh, it was still an entertaining read. It was still a great... Um, it still gave me great insight. It still fed my bucket as far as making sure that I was getting the information that I did need that was applicable to my business and that would help me think outside the box and do a better job. And I highly recommend this book. Um, if not for anything, just for a good laugh. I hope that you guys pick it up. You can find it on Amazon. If you go to harmanbrothersbook.com, you're going to find... Uh, probably a discount and uh, free shipping uh, on their website. So check them out. Uh, I highly recommend checking out their commercials as well and I will include those links to their commercials below. Like and subscribe to Read Write Random and you can find me at editsbystacy.com if you would like to make any comments or request a certain video or have me review one of your books. We'll see you around book sniffers.